Hello everyone and welcome to this new video from BIW. If you're finding us for the first time, hit the subscribe button to stay up to date with new videos from BIW. In this new video, we we'll see how to display the top end cells and the rest as other in Power BI desktop. So let's get started. In one of our videos, we presented how to display top end in different ways. But what if you want in addition to top end, display the rest as other? For example, in this report we have product subcategories, sales, and we want to display top 5 and the rest of the product subcategories as other. Okay? To do so, first thing is to create a new table with all the product subcategories and additional row for other. Let's create the table using DAX. Click on new table in the modeling tab. Let's name it top subcategory. We're going to use union function to merge the product list with the new row other. The first table is a list of product subcategories using values function. For the second table parameter, we'll use row function, which creates a new product subcategory called other. Let's check out the final list by clicking on Data tab on the left pan. As you can see in this new table, we have the value Other and it contains 45 rows. While in the old table, we have 44 rows only. The next step is to create a one-to-many relationship between top subcategory table and product subcategory table. Be sure that it is a one-to-many relationship. The last and tricky step is to create a measure that can group the cells of the top product subcategory and the other. So let's create a new measure. Let's name it top end cells. You can give it the name you want. First, we will create a variable top end value to store the value of n, for example, 2. Then, we will create a new variable to have the top two product subcategories. Then a new variable to calculate the sales amount for all the product subcategories. In a new variable, we calculate the sales of other. The formula is simple. It's all sales minus the sales of the top two product subcategories. So far so good. 
we have the sales amount of our product subcategories and for the other what remains is to calculate sales for the top two also in a new variable The last variable in this measure is for retrieving the selected value of the product subcategory. Ok, now let's return the result. Using if conditional, we verify if the selected value is other, then we will return other cells otherwise it's top n cells i hope you understand the logic we get the top 2 product subcategory we calculate sales for all product subcategory, calculate sales for the other, calculate sales for the top two, and lastly, return the result using a condition. Now let's add the measure to the visual and see the result. Nice, we get the sales amount of the top two product subcategory and sales amount of the other product subcategory in one visual. Let's change the value of top n, for example uh, 6. What we also can do is to create a parameter so that we can change the value dynamically. So let's do it. We need to use the value of the parameter in the measure. And voila, the visual and values change depending on the parameter. The last thing to do is to create a measure to display a dynamic title for the visual. So let's create it.
Let's create another visual using the same measure. Okay, nice. So that's it for this video. If you have any questions, post them in the comment below. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with new videos from BIWay. See you in the next video.